Hello, Pheasant 815 here. In the car and doing some errands, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick little video about doing that. CCW, having your concealed carry weapon with you is important. Without having it on you, you don't have the ability to deploy it when you need to, and God forbid you need to, you need to have it there and ready to go. That's why you carry it, that's why you got the permit, that's why you did the training, that's why you've done the research and done the preparation to prepare yourself, mind and body, to respond if and when a deadly encounter occurs. That way you can respond effectively and appropriately. But in your day-to-day -day life, especially depending on your state, so I'm in the state of Illinois, there are certain areas I'm not legally allowed to carry. And since my primary reason for carrying is to protect my family, the ones I love and I'm responsible for, and to protect them by protecting my life, well, going to jail or paying a fine, well, that hurts the family either way, especially the going to jail part. So, when going on errands, there's certain places that I'm not allowed to carry. In the state of Illinois, there are like 27 places you're not allowed to carry. One of those being the library. My family makes good use of our local public library. Nowadays, you can get books, CDs, audio, DVD, all kinds of stuff. Um, I like to do a little continual education. You can take college level lecture courses from the Great Courses series that you can uh, both read and have video for. It's uh, very stimulating. And then there's so many different things for my son. They have these little backpacks full of activities uh, from sensory materials for your ears, your eyes, all kinds of things. Uh, the last one we got was about weather. And they're great. I don't want to give that up because it's a, it's a boon to my family. It's a blessing to my family to be able to have a local library so close to us that we can utilize. But I'm not allowed to carry in it because the people in my state who wrote the law said I couldn't carry in the library. So what do you do? Well, I'm not in the library for a great amount of time. We go there, we utilize the space, but we don't spend a good deal of time there. We go in, I generally have already checked out my books online. I go get my books off the shelf, check them out myself, they have a self check out there. And I'm back in the car for my stuff within less than 15 minutes. When I'm going to get movies or videos or some games for my son as a reward, or we're gonna go pick out some stuff with him, he's gonna come with me, then it might be a little longer, but we're always well within an hour. So what do we do? Well. I'm not going to ever advocate to you breaking the law. And that's not what I see as makes sense here either. We go during the business hours, during the day, and just because I don't have my uh, carry weapon on me doesn't mean I'm disarmed. It just means I don't have my pistol. I still have everything else I carry on my person, including my own intellect and my own uh, physical uh, strength and awareness to prepare myself, to keep myself out of harm. So... What do you do with it? And that's that's the question of this. What do I do with it? What do you do with it? And I'm curious what you do with it. What what's your system? Do you have a, uh, a handgun safe in the in the trunk of your car? Do you have uh, just just throw it in your glove box just by itself? Do you put it in a holster first? What do you do? What does your state require you to do? Um, in the state of Illinois, there's both FOID compliance, your FOID card, fire, firearm owner identification card uh, that anybody with a firearm needs to have. But then there's also your concealed carry license that also has different stipulations of what you have to do and ultimately it's your level of responsibility to make sure you secure it oh i need to be in the left lane <clears throat> so there's also a level of uh, legal compliance and also personal responsibility for the fact that you have brought out into the world a uh, firearm Anyway, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. <laughs> so what do you what do? You do? What do you do? Um, I'm curious. I'm always looking for any ideas. I've seen some YouTube videos and some pictures on Instagram uh, where people have made some modified holster brakes for in their car so they can get access to their pixel, pistol very easily while driving. I think those are brilliant, and I'd like to maybe do some of those in the future. But uh, what I do, for when I go inside anyway, is I, I just stow it. I stow it quick. When it's something quick, like going into the library just to grab my books, check them out, come in, open the glove box. I have inside the glove box a, uh, a soft case that is meant to look like, looks like a first aid kit. And I just pull it out, throw the pistol in there, zip it on up, 
put it in and then I put I have a I always got Kleenex I've got a little I've got two little kids I've always got messes to clean up and boogers to wipe and slobber and everything else so I've always got a good amount of napkins that I just put up on top now I could easily grab the pouch out if I needed to but if you were to open it up instantly you just see a whole mess of napkins and a first aid kit so it's a little bit of camouflage well I also go ahead and what I do is I close it and I just lock it and I lock the vehicle so in a locked vehicle, which is only as secure as someone's willingness not to make a loud sound to open it, in a locked glove box, again, which is not overly difficult really to open, there's the firearm secured inside a semi-camouflage scenario. And I don't like it. I don't like having to leave it there. I don't like this is the system that I have, but it's, it's the best system that I have for when I go in quickly. Now, when I'm in a place a little bit longer, or I know, okay, this is going to be a longer library visit, or I'm going into another... Um, controlled area. I, I, I'm not saying business because if business doesn't allow me to carry me ins carry inside, I just don't go there. I, I don't give my business. I I need to get some more of the cards you leave to say, hey, you don't get my dollar if you don't want me in your store. Um, but for other places that no one can carry in, <laughs> they've, they've banned everyone if it's one of the 27 places. Um, I do have yeah, a lock box that's locked with a metal cable securing it to the car. So that way, again, someone with a lot of will and planning, you know, could easily, you know, defeat it. But you're going to have to come prepared with tools and know-how and put some time into it. Um, but I secured it in a, in a lock box, a professional lock box uh, that's meant for storing guns and was a lock cable for that very reason around the car. And that gets tucked away. Um, and I'm not just I'm just gonna, not going to share where I where I put that one because that's what I stored a little bit longer in the car. Um, anything over an hour, for sure, would be in this system. Sorry about the shakiness, but what do you do? What is, what's your system uh, that you use? I'm curious. I'm always open for adapting my system, making it a little bit better. I'm looking to adapt my system in both vehicles for when I'm uh, primarily driving in this car or primarily a passenger when my wife's driving the other one. So always looking for different solutions to gain quick access, but yet have it stowed away and secure for these gun-free mandatory zones. Anyway, long enough video. Here, look forward to hearing from you. Please comment, like, and subscribe.